Hello and welcome to See Here Love. I'm your host, Melinda Estabrooks, and we're so glad that you've joined us for the first part of our two-part series on mentoring. Mentoring the next generation and empowering our young women to be strong, courageous, and to lead and live well. Well, the United Nations has stated that when we support the growth and empowerment of women and girls, we actually raise the quality of life for everyone. Because when women lead, they not only lead in businesses, but they lead in their communities. They champion for their children and they give voice to issues like education and healthcare. And we can all get behind that. And so to discuss all about mentoring and leadership and empowerment, I'm joined by my co-host, <laughs> Cheryl, Jen, Kimberly, Joanna. Yay. Welcome, ladies. Hey. So Are you ready to talk about mentoring, empowering, Are and leading? I know. <laughs> You're all like, yes. yes. Do it. Let's go. Yep. And we also have with us the lovely... Yes. Yes. John Bailey Elborn, our special guest, the Interim Executive Director of New Life Girls Home, a not-for-profit Christian residential program for young women ages mm. 18 to 30 who are struggling with life controlling issues. So mm -hmm. we know, Don, you have a lot to say and for us to learn from yes. about mentoring, empowering mm -hmm. young women. So thanks for being with us. So good to be here. Are you ready for this? I <laughs> hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just kick it off first and I'll open it up to the table. What is mentoring? I think we need to define what mentoring mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. why it seems people want to be mem mentored mm -hmm. and, and, and the importance and lasting impact of it. So mm -hmm. let's start with you and then we'll go around the table. All right, mentoring um, in my world is walking alongside mm -hmm. of someone intentionally, generously, authentically, um, saying no, um, mm -hmm. being their fan. So it's doing life, it's relationship. Mm -hmm. It's messy, it's lovely, mm -hmm. it's godly, mm -hmm. and we can't mentor everyone though. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of giving us that eye, like <laughs> yeah. this is a, this is a, maybe a like challenge her. for us. I do too. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. Ready, people? Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Throwing it out to the table. What are your thoughts? What is mentoring? Why is it important? What would you guys say? Uh, to me, I, I always call uh, mentors or mentorship being a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, when you think, when you get that visual, like really navigating people through the storms, mm -hmm. and how we do that is from our own life experience. So, as I've gone through life and have kind of gained a lot of bumps and scrapes and life lessons along the way, it's important that I illuminate that path for someone else. And mm -hmm. it's as simple as saying, "Do not go right." <laughs> what not to do? Trust <laughs> me on that. <laughs> Yeah. Not a good space right. for you. Um, so it's so important that we kind of, you know, make, make, I feel like they're, the generation after us should be a little bit easier by our guidance. Yeah. Like it mm -hmm. shouldn't be That's as good. Yeah. tough. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, mm -hmm. Joanna? Mm -hmm. um, for me, the, the scripture that God's given me for my own work in mentorship is out of Book of John. Uh, jo uh, Jesus is at the Last Supper. Mm -hmm. And he says a lot of things in the Book of John at the Last Supper, but there's this there's this little passage that says, I no longer call you my disciple, I call mm -hmm. you my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, because a servant doesn't know what the master, he doesn't know the master's mm -hmm. business, but mm -hmm. everything from the father I have given to you, so you are no longer uh, my servant, you are my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that. so what I hope in, in any mentoring relationship that I'm a part of uh, is that over time, mm -hmm. I have given a not like so if the, if I'm up here and they're down here mm -hmm. in terms of the journey that I've poured out myself so that they kind of come up to here and at that point like in terms of what I can give I've given them what I can give and mm -hmm. I would consider more a friend okay and then the, at that point I really think mentorship is kind of done yeah. we can still continue a relationship but mm -hmm. but mentorship for me is a is a short term relationship maybe in short term could be ten years yeah. but it's not for forty years right yeah. no yeah. that's good mm -hmm. yeah. Jen what about you. Good. Yeah, for me, um, mentorship is about um, explaining some of those unwritten rules. Because I think in life, you know, there are the rules, and we can follow those. And then there are the rules, and they're a little bit harder to follow. So, I mean, things like people will say discernment is important. What is that? You know, how does that play out in your life? So it's helping to walk people through that process. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of formal mentorship where you're taking on specific people and kind of working with them and walking with them through life. And then there's more general mentorship, I think, just how you are in the world mm -hmm. and sort of showing yeah. people by example. So mm -hmm. I think it can Love take that. all shapes and forms. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I agree with that and what Don said too, just walking life with someone, mm -hmm. you know? And yes, sometimes for a really short season, sometimes for a longer season. Yeah. I'm very simple in the way I think about things, but I just think walking and doing life and helping someone navigate that yeah. mm -hmm. and get through some yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We all have our stuff. I agree too, and I like what Cheryl said, because when you are in that place of mentorship, you can say, 
trust me. Yeah. Yeah. I did that. That did not work. <laughs> been there, done that. Yeah, been there, done Got that. The so I'm gonna encourage <laughs> you to do this, yeah. though you have a choice, but right. just to lead, yeah. right? I think that's yeah. really great. Now, in mm. that, have you been mentored? Like, don't start with like, Have you been mentored? If, if yes or no, mm -hmm. the good and bad about that. Mm -hmm. In my early prodigal years, when I could have, should have, would have needed one. Yeah. Um, well, I wasn't in a space to seek it out either. Okay. So I went on my merry way and made my mistakes and bruised my knees and elbows. Mm -hmm. But later in life, when I was when I was in my forties and I was a music pastor, this seventy-five-year-old woman came into my life. She was uh, my first mentor, Yvonne, and oh, she would awesome. on a weekly basis tell me off. <laughs> She would. I knew she loved me. We, we had yeah. music in common. Um, but she, she led a different life than me. Mm. But we had a connection. The Holy Spirit set it up. Um, but I would take it from her, as I wouldn't take it mm. from many people. Mm. But there was a real connection, and she would tell me what not to do. Mm. And, and, well, one time I had a, a meltdown in a choir practice. And, um, oh, those choir practices. <laughs> It was because they didn't mm. sing well. It wasn't. <laughs> they had no practice. I know that. Okay. But, okay. well, this is not my prouder moment, but I, I threw the music up in the air. That's awesome. And they immediately had a prayer meeting for me. <laughs> and, you know, she, yeah. she corrected me after that. Well, well needed. Yeah. So I had one later in life, but... Um, the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are so many young ladies, I'll say ladies, I do think it has to be same sex, yeah. ladies out there that need a fan, yeah. that need that unconditional love, yet godly teaching, wisdom, mm -hmm. balance. Um, I say balance, I say boundaries, because this can get codependent. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So there are boundaries there. Okay. So with mm -hmm. her, what would you say was the biggest um, thing that helped you with her? When she mentored you, what, mm -hmm. what was that thing? Well, I knew she was a good and godly woman. Okay. So she was a role model. Yeah. Yes. Um, I knew she wasn't perfect, yeah. but um, I, I saw righteous living. I saw something that I was not. So there was a gravitational mm -hmm. pull to her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, but she spoke truth to me. She didn't mm -hmm. sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. And she told me like it was. And I thought, I respect that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. What about for you? Yeah. Well, I found it interesting that you said that you think it needs to be the same gender. Because in my experience, I've had mentors and I have done mentoring mm -hmm. with both genders. Mm -hmm. And I would say, I would push back and say it depends what topic. It does. Because, for example, yeah. I work in a church. There are very yes. few female mentors that I would have access to at the levels I'm looking for mm -hmm. at this stage of my career who can mentor me professionally mm -hmm. in some of the things right. that I'm looking to develop in. Why? Because yeah. there aren't that many women in the church doing it. Right. And so professionally, I'm looking to some men and women, but right. men also to mentor me in yeah. that area. Now, yes. if it was a more personal and yes. intimate yes. conversation, yes. I would be looking for a woman. Mm -hmm. or And there would be conversations with, if I'm if I'm discipling a guy, mm -hmm. uh, there would be some conversations we weren't. We aren't going to have and, right. and I would hope mm -hmm. that he could have those with someone else yeah. but there I think that there can be cross-gender yeah. mentorship mm -hmm. it just depends yes, on with what we're talking yeah with yeah, yeah for sure yeah right. what mm -hmm. about other mentoring experiences were you mentored when you were younger and how did that impact you I yeah. mean, I always made people be my mentor. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, love I kind that. of like yeah. forced people into mentorship. Yeah. So, um, I mean, at work, it was always a more formal mentoring program. Um, I mean, there weren't a lot of women who worked in banking, so yeah. it would be, you know, men or women. Um, but that wasn't kind of a, a personal mentoring. Yeah. I would say my personal mentoring was actually later after I'd first had my daughter, and I was, you know, struggling with postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. And I found these, like, cool women online who were a couple years ahead of me, and I'm like, you're going to be my mentor. So, <laughs> awesome. one I'll give her a shout out, Andrea J. Buchanan, and um, she's a, a mama writer out of Philly. And I'm like, you're going to be my mentor. And I think she's like, what? Like, I, don't, I don't want to be your mentor. Um, but it's like, Hi. She, Hi. Yeah, she seems to be getting it in life, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm just going to kind of do that mm -hmm. and develop a bit of an email relationship. And so I've, I've always been one for if I can see someone who seems to have figured it mm -hmm. out, reaching out to them and saying, hey, you seem to have it figured out. Do you mind if we have, you know, some loose conversations? I so, love that. Yeah. And I love that it, you didn't even have to have a physical, like you, you weren't in the same place. 
she yeah. was, I don't know, yeah. over yeah. over the we internet. Met, you there were, were some conferences and stuff we were yeah. at, so you know we were able to connect in, yeah. in person. Okay. But yeah. yeah, so much of it was just reading work, and then that brought me into mother writing, and then I started to write my experiences, which I know oh, other yeah. women then learned from. Yeah. So right. it's kind of passing it on. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's what it should be. Should be. Show. Sure. Um, so I didn't, I didn't walk into church and I didn't, uh, w you know, kind of stroll into church. I crashed <laughs> into church. I literally crashed into church. And so for me, it was a bit of a trial and error for the, in terms of this whole mentoring thing. And I want to bring up a really um, important point. So my first mentor, uh, took it upon herself to smooth out the rough edges of Cheryl. And so it was definitely a tough project. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you know, uh, kudos <laughs> to all the church mothers that had to endure Cheryl Nemhard. Like, I mean, like I was of work. And so lots of <laughs> hatred, lots of anger, lots of bitterness, like beep, 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 you know, mm -hmm. Sunday morning. Um, but here's, here's what was interesting. Uh, wrong mentorship sometimes is that I have to conform you to be like me. Right. Mm -hmm. And so there was there was there was a failure in that because I'm not you. I'm not yes. built. I don't mm -hmm. think. I don't breathe. I don't move like mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Call to different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other one was I am going to bring you down to nothing, mm -hmm. and then rebuild you. And I believe that a mentor should not be a wet blanket. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't crush my passions mm -hmm. and 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 break everything in me, but should fan the flame yeah. of what's good. Yeah. Right. Right? Yeah. And not sort of like, this is bad, 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 shut it all down. And then you're like, oh, yeah. and, and yeah. not yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I found someone that was like, no, this is really good. Mm -hmm. You are strong. Let's work with that. Yeah. You yeah. know, you're bold. Let's work with that. Not, not be silent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Kim, what about you? Yeah, this is a good question. I know. Do I look blank? Because I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, but that's so true. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Like, I'm going to say no, except that there have been lots of women, especially in older women, that I've so admired mm -hmm. and been like, oh, I want to be like them and I want to learn from them, but never maybe in such a formal mm -hmm. way. I don't know. Maybe it's the way I grew up. But I don't that's know. that's okay, though, Kim. The thing is, though, you're, <laughs> like, a, you're, yeah. a, you're like a lot of women who haven't been mentored. Like, so no. there's not, an, like, I wouldn't apologize. I'm saying there are yeah. people, but there's a lot of women and men mm -hmm. who are watching and saying, Exactly. Yeah. I really haven't had any like formal yeah. connection as mentorship. But there have been people I've right. so admired and gone, like I know you're not perfect, but there is something about yep. that person yeah. and their life, and I want to grow yep. into a person like that. And so I've, I've, I've had those people, but not like formal. Yep. Well, we're going to get there. I think that's going to be good because I think there's a lot of people that, for you, and people are like, we want that. Yeah. We, we've been living in that way. We want yeah. that too. Joe, yeah. what about you? You were talking about the church and the different kinds of mentors. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've I don't think I've ever had a mentor who's like on Tuesday mornings at 8 a.m. Right. we meet for yeah. breakfast yeah. and these are our topics of discussion. I've never yeah. had that. Mm -hmm. But whether someone has sought me out or I have sought them out, mm -hmm. um, I've built these relationships, yeah. multi-generational relationships. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, throughout, like, probably since I was quite small, really. Mm -hmm. um, one of my first mentors was my brother. My, one of, my eldest brother is 12 years older than me. And so he, he and I had a bit of an unusual sibling relationship because of the age yeah. gap. And so he, and he had skipped a year, so he was, like, going into high school when I was, like, a preschooler. Mm -hmm. So there was a huge difference. He went to university when I started grade one. Wow. So, like, that's the sort of the <laughs> distance. Yeah. And anyways... Um, there were two things he always, I, I tell this now to, to lots of girls going into grade nine. He said, he said to me when I went into high school, two pieces of advice. The first was about makeup. <laughs> and I actually, I, I generally, I, I didn't keep this in high school, but I keep it now. He said, if you can see it, you're wearing too much. <laughs> and that was in the days of like, <laughs> yeah. blue, that was, that was in the days where I had blue eyeshadow up to my eyebrows. Oh, well, yeah. And, and it was the, the nineties, it was the Spice Girl era. And I really, really wish I'd listened to him. Mm. And the second mm. piece of advice he said was, you can have lots of boy friends, mm. but not like friends who are yeah. guys. You can have lots of boyfriends, but not a boyfriend. Yes. So I broke both of his rules in high school. And now, looking back, with now a little bit more wisdom, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah, he was right. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, 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 
yes. Yeah. I, I think for me, you know, along with what you're saying, for me, the kind of woman that I was, I needed somebody that I could look to because I was mm -hmm. going into that place. I was uh, doing humanitarian work. I was wanting to get into media. I was starting to speak. Mm -hmm. And I had to find somebody. And so I've talked about her before, but Lorna Duick was mm -hmm. the woman where I saw her speak, oh. and I remember going, that's who I want to be like mm -hmm. and be mentored mm -hmm. by. And I waited in the lineup. And then I met her and said, even just for coffee. So I set it up. I wasn't as like <laughs> so obvious, but I kind of said, hey, let, let me take you out for lunch. Yeah. And I remember God saying, you know what? Don't ask her. Mm -hmm. If it's going to be the right one, she will ask mm -hmm. you or she yeah. will say, I want to mentor you. And mm -hmm. so we did this big lunch. We did a prayer walk around the town. And by the end of it, I was uh. like, I hope she asks me. And we uh. were getting to the car and she hadn't asked me. And I was opening up the door. I'm like, it's over. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> and she turned back. I remember on the sidewalk, she said, you know what, Melinda? I think I'm going to mentor you. I think I should mentor you. Oh. What do you think uh, about that? And I, I was like, it. and so Lorna's been a mentor mm -hmm. in media, mm -hmm. in, in, in this show coming to be, in yeah. a lot of, yeah. of leadership. Professional so stuff. professional stuff. So I'm very thankful. But it, again, it was, I saw the need yeah. for somebody that was ahead of me, mm -hmm. and I yes. kind of went after it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, that's so what so it's it important. Like there's like different kinds of mentors. Definitely. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, mine was more like life, like yes. yeah. how to just be a lady. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like how to just like... <laughs> Yeah. not hate people, yeah. like <laughs> right. basic life yeah. skills. Yeah. Right? But I think that's a good point, because mentoring is, I think people have a preconceived idea that mentoring is maybe more life, yeah. whereas mentor can also be mm -hmm. professional, yeah. mm -hmm. right? right? And in areas and in seasons yeah. of your life yeah. where you can... And I've written on the show, uh, I've written a blog on this yeah. in the past, I talk about, I approach it like a board of directors. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. because I think one of the things where people get so discouraged in mentoring relationships is you expect this one person to be all things to you. Yeah. But a person who would be really good at mentoring me in my spiritual life or maybe my relationships mm -hmm. is probably the wrong kind of person mm -hmm. who would mentor me in my finances or my career yeah. or I don't know I mean very, there's sort of various aspects of our mm -hmm. life that we need development and support and so I kind of look at it as like these sort of I, I'm not going to put something on you that you were never meant to carry mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you for advice and support in this area of my life that I need to grow in yeah. and it's okay if you aren't very good at financial advice, because I'm not coming to you for yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So trying to find that right, yeah. right person. Don, let's let's talk to you about your work mm -hmm. in that I think I'm really interested about, you know, I'm hearing over and over again, young women want to be mentored and yeah. you're in it. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, let's talk us. about that, you know, oh, yeah. you know, why and why you have committed your whole life mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. mentoring young women, because clearly there's a need. Mm -hmm. Um, my calling is I found purpose in the pain. Mm. We, we can, we walked a similar road. Um, our ladies come to us at New Life Girls Home broken. Mm. Yeah. Um, and we can teach them, we can help them to do life broken, which many of us do, but we can cleverly disguise it. Mm. But our ladies are broken and they know it. Mm. Mm. Um, but it's again to help them find their voice, their strength can there be, can there be, can also be their weakness. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, if you're this passionate artist, which a lot of them are, uh, how, how to... Um, channel. Channel, exactly, yeah. for the good and godly. Right. Um, and again, it's, it's life skills, and it's yeah. getting to know their identity in Christ. Our ladies are broken. No one has to come to new life as a believer, but there's, you're not going to get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. While you're talking, you say broken. Could you maybe just define yeah. that? like? Well, our ladies come with life controlling issues, mm -hmm. whether that's addiction, whether that's mild, um, moderate or severe mental illness, mm -hmm. whether that's, they've just gone off the rails. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they come to us seeking help. So they're in a position. Yeah. They might fight us the whole time, mm -hmm. but we fight back. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, mm -hmm. And they live there. Yes, they do, yeah. Yeah. residential. There's an open door policy. If you, you, you choose to leave, we'll help you leave. We're out in the middle of a cornfield. Mm -hmm. Cheryl's been there, so yeah. it's a long so run. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're going nowhere. It's, it's, no like, the, it's like the quiet not, place. Not <laughs> good luck when you yeah. leave that house. Yeah. Yeah. So, so far. So I guess what I'm trying to get and dig into is because, you know, young women mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. mentors and help. Mm -hmm. and, and this is where it's, I mean, we're at some really broken stages. Absolutely. But talk to me about, because here you've got all these women who mm -hmm. are able to mentor. Mm -hmm. We can. Mm -hmm. we got women who 
have come to you at this sort of desperate place mm -hmm. where maybe before that there mm -hmm. could have been some women who had could have helped them mm -hmm. along the way before they got here. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe just a, like, I guess I'm trying to say we're looking and have a heart for young women mm -hmm. and the next generation. Mm -hmm. How can we help? What can we do? And, okay. and I, guess, I guess just the importance of what you're doing right, to kind yeah. of inspire yeah. us. There has to be a readiness on both parts. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you could speak into someone's life and they're not receiving it, so you're mm -hmm. wasting their time and your time. Right. And there also has to be connection. I alluded to this earlier, you can't mentor everyone. Yeah. Right. If someone puts one person in your life, you will feel that yeah. spirit connection. Mm -hmm. um, two, three, good for you, but your family's first. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, like, there's such a great need right. for young women to mm -hmm. be mentored, mm -hmm. I mean, and you and you know that. Like, talk to us, because we, right. we are all in the position where we could help. How can we help? Yeah, how can we? By help. being open to it, yet, yet careful. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do damage. You don't want to speak. I, I, I understand that there are seasons but if you're taking the journey, commit to the journey. Mm. It, it could be short term, long term, but that will show itself. And there's nothing wrong with walking with a lady for a year and then, and then so God will put someone else in that right. place. You don't have to be it for mm -hmm. them. You're not the Holy Spirit, you're not yeah. Jesus. Yep. You're someone who's been there, done that. Mm. But it, is, it impacts their lives in life-changing ways, yeah. mm -hmm. um, seriously. Yeah. But but again, I would I would caution us to be very spirit led mm -hmm. and, and who comes along your path, okay. yeah. and um, to take it slow, um, mm -hmm. because we love Jesus, because we we want to help them. That enthusiasm can get misled. Mm -hmm. But um, well, I would even seek out mentorship courses. I would even mm -hmm. be intentional mm -hmm. in your intentions, mm -hmm. and then. There are a myriad, they're in your churches. There could be your nieces, they could be distant yeah. family. Yes. Yeah. But um, they are there and you will feel a connection. Your, your heart will feel the tug. Yeah, right. yeah, true. You know, what, I, and, I, and it's not like, um, I'm thinking about the next generation mm -hmm. and, and what, are, what are girls needing? Like, I mean, there's so yeah. much against them. I think when yeah. I'm thinking about mentoring, yeah. can I actually mentor with all yeah. of the issues that exactly. they have? Yeah. Well, am, am I the right person? Can I, yeah. can I give, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think I, so what, what's happening out there with young women? Because I think our young ladies need time. They need physical touch. They, they, mm -hmm. You need to be there for them. Yeah. Um, you know, we have to put our phones away too. Yeah. And we have to do things with them and, and teach them about being a lady by going out to yeah. lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so there is an investment of physical time. Okay. Um, so you're That's in prayer for them mm -hmm. yes. all the time. I'd, That's I'd needless. love to weigh in yep. on this too as well um, uh, because that's my passion. <clears throat> I mentor a lot of young women in this city um, and I have to just echo quickly what, what Don said, God will lead you. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the pleasure and the privilege of, of spending a full day mm -hmm. at New Life Girls Home. Mm -hmm. And it single-handedly changed my life last year. And out of all of the girls who touched my heart deeply, I, 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 I think, and I'm not, I'm not a heavy crier. The only place I cry is on this show. Because I'm really <laughs> bad. It's just crazy, but that was another place. And a young girl named Monica stood out for me. And to this day, I am in her life mm -hmm. pouring in. And I've opened my door. I've had girls live at my house, mm -hmm. um, bring their kids, their babies. I have gone to hospitals. I have gone to pick them up on the street corner. Mm -hmm. you, you just, it does not look the same. Uh, every time, mm -hmm. and, and it depends on the level of brokenness. Mm -hmm. I deal with a lot of very broken youth, so my life looks a little crazy at three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. But you have to commit to being there, and they just want to know that you're not going to give up on them. Absolutely. That's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, this is the extreme case of yeah, mentorship. Right. The other stuff could be coffees and dinners mm -hmm. and right. different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I just, I, that's the thing I want to say because I've had people that have put up the wall because they say you're going to leave me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Mm, right. I really won't. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, that's really powerful. Because I think mm -hmm. that's the thing. I, I think I just want to understand. I mean, I was a young girl, and I know what I needed. And mm -hmm. it was that love and time and listening ear and not judgment yeah. and understanding. And yeah. so to me, it sounds like it's yeah. the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing in it this is, generation. Yeah. They're, they're more sophisticated than, than I was, 54 years bold. Mm -hmm. um, I can mm -hmm. encourage you that... 
it's harder. Yes. I think they have it harder. Yeah, I do too. Why? They have to face. Oh. Everything is out there. Uh, they have access to everything. Yeah. Instant. Yeah. Yes. So, but, uh, but I mean, like, what do you mean by like in social media or yes, like definitely just, social media? Um, life. Life. Well, one of one of the things that that I think is today, people don't need an older person for information. They need an older person for wisdom. Well put. Wisdom. Well put. Well put. That's you can get yes. any information about how to cook a chicken, how to do your laundry. You can Google it on your phone while you're standing. Can I put this in the dryer? Like, yeah. you don't need an older person mm, in your yeah. life for that kind right. of skill. Mm -hmm. You need someone for wisdom. Yeah. Mm. Good. I That's love really it. Good. I was gonna say everyone knows what to do, but they don't know how to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's the same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dawn, your tagline at uh, the work that you do is young women facing their past, living in the present, holding hope yeah. for the future. Love. I love that. As yeah. we sort of um, end up the show here, let, let's just talk about that as an encouragement, mm -hmm. um, because I think that. That's a beautiful tagline. Mm -hmm. yeah. So talk to me a little bit about that. Well, the past is what has brought us this far. Mm -hmm. um, lovely, wonderful, ugly, messy, broken. Mm -hmm. that has, that's the sum of who we are today. Mm -hmm. So today we can have the mentors. Today we can have the teaching. Today we can know that we're broken, know that we're weak. And you, I think these young ladies aren't seeking per perfect people. Mm -hmm. They're seeking love, attention, belonging. Yeah. These are old issues. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. So that's today. Today equals time. Today equals prayer, teaching, training, yeah. and holding hope for the future. Sometimes they don't have it. I had a woman in my office who was the mother of a met addict, and the Lord told me, minister to her, and she just needed to have hope. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, we can still have mentors yeah. at our age, well, yeah. your age, my age, too. <laughs> But um, that doesn't stop. Yeah. yeah, I love that, giving them hope. hope. Absolutely. Yeah. And we have overcome and are overcoming. We fall down, we get up. Yes. Right. Yes. And I think we all have that opportunity. I mean, God's taken all of us on a journey in our story. Mm -hmm. We all have different stories, but look, yeah. here we are. Yeah. And I think with that, you know, when the insecurity comes, like, what can I share? What can I give? I think you have to sit there and go, wait a second. God mm -hmm. brought me through yes. this. I can, yeah. I can give to this yes. person. I can share with this person. Yeah. That's yeah. really encouraging. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how can we find out more information about your work? New Life Girls Home. Yeah. We have the website, www.newlifegirlshome.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And you can actually come to the deep woods and see us. <laughs> or the cornfield, or wherever it is. The cornfield. So cool. yeah, we need finances. Let's Absolutely. Um, we, we want to do our best mm. for the Lord. We want to provide these ladies with excellent yes. facilities. It's a great time now because we're in, a, we're in the process of discerning renovation, rebuilding. Nice. Very exciting. Very exciting, yeah. It is, but we want to give our very best yeah. for these broken ladies. They need yeah. to come into beautiful facilities. Yeah. Yeah. So please do look us up online. Um, feel free to call the office, oh, and we're we'll happy to invite yeah. you to oh, be a wow, part of it. So good. Don, thank you so much. Great thoughts, great mm -hmm. work that mm -hmm. you do. Yeah, We're cheering you. you on. It's our pleasure. Thank Amazing. You. And to Cheryl and Jen, Kim, Joanna, thank you so much. I love what you said. It's ringing in my ears about the wisdom mm -hmm. part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that they need wisdom. Sure. And I think that we can give a bit of wisdom mm -hmm. here, right, to some yeah. girls out there. So thanks yeah. again for your yeah. thoughts. <laughs> and to you, our viewers, we hope that after you watched and listened to this inspiring show, two things will happen. Number one, if you're in a position to mentor and lead, that you open up yourself and your time and schedule to do so. Think legacy. Mm -hmm. Think raising the quality of life for everyone mm -hmm. when you and me mentor and empower girls to lead and have a voice. And number two, if you're looking for a mentor, don't give up. Pray for the right one at the right time. And don't be afraid to ask. And remember, there can be mentors for different seasons of your life and career, and we're cheering you on. Mm -hmm. We can't journey and navigate this life on our own. We need one another to mentor, mm -hmm. to lead, and to inspire. So please connect with us on seeherelove.com or on Facebook and our Instagram pages if you have any questions or need prayer. And always remember that you are seen, you are heard, and you are deeply loved by God. Bye-bye.